we present our work, Robots That Ask for Help, Uncertainty Alignment for Large Language Model Planners. Recently, large language model-based planners have shown great promises in responding to natural language instructions to generate robot plans. However, language instructions can often be ambiguous inherently or un unintentionally by the human. In the example here, the human would like the robot to pick up the plastic bowl on the counter and place it in the microwave. However, the human does not specify which bowl in the instruction. There happens to be two bowls on the counter, one plastic and one metal. Robot acting in this scenario without the human clarifying the instruction may lead to unsafe consequences. In this work, we aim to address the problem. How can we let robots with large language model-based planners know when they don't know and ask for help when needed? Thus, it is important for the large language model-based planner to understand its own uncertainty and know when to ask for help. There are two desired properties calibrated confidence, and minimal help. The robot should seek sufficient help to ensure the user specified task success rate, while also minimizing the help by narrowing down possible ambiguities. Collectively, they achieve uncertainty alignment for the large language model-based planner. In this work, we propose no, no, no when you don't know. There are two key pieces to the framework. First, no, no formulates the large language model planning as multiple choice Q&A. Given a user request, no, no first prompts the planner to generate possible next steps. Then, no, no asks the planner to choose from them and looks at the large language model's next token prediction probabilities to assess its uncertainty. Next, no, no leverages the theory of conformal prediction. For example, the user may specify a target success rate of 80%. Nono then looks at a calibration dataset with diverse scenarios and roughly finds the 80% quantile of the scores of the true options corresponding to these scenarios. Then at test time, we use the quantile to determine which options to be included in a prediction set. Conformal prediction provides the guarantee that the correct plan is included in the set with at least 80% probability. Conformal prediction also generates small prediction sets. These two properties are well aligned with the goal of calibrated confidence and minimal help. After calibration, we use the calibration quantile to generate prediction sets in test scenarios and use the prediction set to trigger human help. In the example of placing the bowl in the microwave, the prediction set size is 2 and Nono considers the robot uncertain among the two choices and it triggers human help. With human clarification, the robot picks up the correct bowl. In the other example, the prediction set contains only one option and Nono considers the robot certain about the choice and lets the robot execute the plan without human intervention. We evaluate NoNo on three hardware platforms with over 150 scenarios and a wide variety of ambiguities, from attribute, numeric, and spatial ambiguities to ambiguous human preferences. We also propose novel extension of conformal prediction in multi-step planning setting and provide sequence level success rate guarantee in the multi-step tabletop rearrangement example. From experiments, we validate that NoNo achieves target success rate consistently in different ambiguity settings, showing the least amount of deviations from user-specified levels, thanks to the statistical guarantees from conformal prediction. NoNo also reduces human help rates across different target success levels compared to baselines in both single-step and multi-step planning settings. Next, we showcase NoNo in action in different examples and it triggers human help when needed. Hey robot, 
Could you pick up the bowl on a small counter and I put it onto the stove, please? Should I pick up the metal bowl or the plastic bowl? Pick up the metal bowl, please. For more details and experiment results, please check our website, which has a link to the paper. Thank you.